So if you have a, uh, an Apple LED cinema display, not the Thunderbolt display, so this is the one with uh, mini display port cable, uh, and you want to connect it to a Windows laptop, you have two options. The first option, this is, uh, this is not the case here, is to use um, a, a mini display port to USB-C adapter and uh, it will just work, uh, plug and play. Uh, the problem is that uh, this laptop is uh, quite old and doesn't have USB-C and also many laptops that uh, have USB-C ports uh, do not support video through those ports. So uh, the other option is to connect the Apple LED cinema display using HDMI. So it is possible, as you can see here, but uh, you're going to need two adapters. So the first one is a mini display port to display port adapter because there is no cable that uh, converts mini display port to HDMI directly. So this is the first adapter you have to buy. After that, you have to buy a display port cable that goes to your HDMI output on your laptop. So be careful here because there are a lot of cables. For example, this one has a mini display port here and HDMI here. Uh, this should work, right? But uh, it doesn't because the way this work is if your uh, if your uh, laptop or uh, graphics card uh, has mini display port output and you want to connect this HDMI uh, side to your display. So this is not the case. This is not bidirectional. You need a cable like this that again has display port on this side and HDMI on the other side, but it needs to be a, an, an active adapter or active cable like this. So I have this extra cable with an USB for power. This will successfully convert the uh, HDMI output to the display port that goes into the Apple LED cinema display. After that, you also have to connect the USB cable of the Apple LED cinema display for all the peripherals to work. So in my case, uh, let me show. Okay, let me show you. Uh, all the things work. So if we go to uh, uh, device manager, you will see no no uninstalled drivers everything is installed the the sound output is also on the two apple usb audio device also the the microphone and also the eyesight camera uh, i'm going to put down below all the links you're going to need to install all the drivers so the way you are going to adjust your brightness is using a software and uh, I'm going to show you that as you can see it works and uh, one thing to keep in mind is that the speakers will only work if this brightness controller software is running so this is the way that the speakers and the microphone and probably the eyesight camera will work. The eyesight camera uh, is uh, the driver for that camera uh, is in the bootcamp uh, pack of drivers uh, that you can download directly for, from uh, Apple. It is located in drivers Apple uh, in the uh, Apple here the this one not in the camera 64 is located here just double click and install it and the camera will work 
and uh, basically this is how you can successfully connect your Apple LED cinema display to your older laptop just using HDMI. It's a great display, uh, worth the uh, the effort to buy those adapters. Uh, they are actually very cheap, and uh, it will work very very good. And also as a bonus, I will put the links for uh, for this adapter. This is uh, an adapter to use the the MagSafe charger. Uh, and basically charge everything you want using USB-C so this uh, this this is magnetic and will connect here and now you can use all the functions of the Apple LED cinema display as intended uh, I hope this uh, video is useful and uh, have a nice day.